That's my long answer to your so this very clean thing question. that happened 14 billion years ago. What is the predominant theory of why? So this multiverse concept gives us a reason why. Okay, so um, it's like imagine you're rolling around in a in a basin. Okay, and you're stable there. You're just fine, but then. Something kicks you out of the basin, and you didn't know that there's a huge hill to roll down after you come out of that basin. But you didn't know that. You thought you, everything was just fine. Mm -hmm. You roll down that hill, you're gaining energy. At the bottom of the hill, something stops you. And then where does all that energy go? One of the hypotheses, and I'm highly simplifying here, is that the energy gained by rolling down a hill and these are energy hills that would exist in this sort of higher dimensional space that we're talking about. The, at, that energy has to manifest in that object somehow, and it becomes an explosion and gives birth. With enough energy, it gives birth to matter, uh, everything that we know and love, and it expands because when you concentrate that much energy in a small spot, that's the only thing you can do. I understand that expand. you're simplifying it, but I don't understand. Simplifying it in the sense that um, I'm, by using this basin analogy and rolling down right. a hill, that they're, they're equations of the energetics of a system. And this is called, it, this is called a, um, uh, well, a, a false vacuum. So you can be in a place that's not the true bottom energy state of the system, but you think everything is fine, and, but it's not. And so if you move around in, among these hills and valleys, you end up birthing universes out the other side. And this multiverse concept actually delivers this for you, basically so for free. That that thought would be that the Big Bang is just one of many events that happen in the multiverse. Correct. And not only that, it could be that other Big Bang events um, might have a different, a slightly different laws of physics in it. Mm. So you want to watch out for that if you cross over from one universe to the other and the charge on the electron is slightly different, you could like, all your atoms could just scatter, scatter or compress. compress into a pile of goo. Yeah, oh. so take a take something to test first. Yeah, send a chicken out there. <laughs> <Don't you? laughs> Chicken. Chickens get no respect. <laughs> what happened to guinea pigs? Well, guinea pigs are cute, cute pets. They're, they're cute and furry. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. 